taken their side of the mirrors off so they can get closer on the road. <laughs> now let's look at these. See if I'm not, I may be confusing you. If it ain't broke, it, leave it alone. What is another way of saying that? One is, just keep doing things the way you've always done. Don't change your habits, don't change your patterns, don't change your strategies, don't change your products, don't improve them. Don't change the way you teach, don't change your TV shows, don't change your food, change nothing. In today's world, that's dangerous. It may work in some countries, it may work in some cities or towns, but if you're trying to survive in a complex global society as we have, you will crash and burn. Like what's happening in Europe right now. And what's happening in my own country right now. Because of our paradigms. One of the paradigms of a lot of Americans is they spend more than they make. They live 90 to 120 days from poverty. If they lost their jobs and had no source of income for three to four months, they would lose almost everything they have because it is on loan. In Japan, they save 30 to 40 percent of their income. So they can survive when things go bad. When things go bad, they then loan the money to the government to turn it around. At least they have a few times. Notice the horrors of the earthquake and then the tsunami. No rioting, no pillaging, no stealing. People try to help each other. I just met a Brazilian who was working in Kobe, Japan, trying to help because they're pretty, pretty much sure that those nuclear plants will have to be closed. They don't see a solution right now. That's pretty dangerous. We're talking about relocating millions of people in a bad economy. But in Europe, Greece, all the talk that's been in the news the last few weeks about Greece and how dangerously in trouble they are. It's Portugal. Spain and France isn't much behind it, along with Disney, because they left things alone. My country's social security system was based on more people working, less people retired. Well, now the more people are retired. <laughs> and the young people don't want to pay taxes anymore. Not that we did either, but we did. All our politicians who get elected always get elected on, I will cut your taxes. And since, right, who's going to pay for the bridges, the police, the fire, our schools, our electricity systems, our water systems? So the solution with the water system, make water a product, not something the government provides. I grew up in Michigan. That's the state that looks like a hand. I hope this is not an offensive gesture in your culture. I didn't check this one out. That's Michigan, at least the lower peninsula. And when you're from Michigan, you always point at where you came from. I'm from Detroit, down here. And then there's another peninsula up here. I don't know how they do it. But we were surrounded by water. In fact, that, that state sits on water. There are over 40,000 lakes in that state. And then they're surrounded by the, the only body of water other than the ocean as you can see from space, which are the five Great Lakes. Anyway, the second one, it ain't broke, break it. In other words, change it anyway. Do you think that might be a viable way of doing things? Take chances. Try something new. Think of some of your favorite music groups. Think of your favorite TV shows, your favorite movies, um, favorite foods or desserts. Are they the same as they were five years ago? Or have they been changed? Third one comes out of industry. Better fix it before it breaks. Make sure you know when things will break and then replace them before they do. So you have no lost time. These fluorescent lamps. The manufacturers know how long they'll last. But the engineers also know that it's best to replace them before they burn out. Because if you wait till they burn out, then the ballast, which is the expensive part, starts humming. You may have never heard that. But if that starts humming, that's a lot more expensive to replace than a few lights. But as a young architect, I could never get a client to change the lights when they should. They all thought I was crazy. I can see. 